everyone, welcome back. I'm so happy you're here today. We're gonna have so much fun using all of this beautiful stuff to set the Easter table. If you are new here, I'm so happy you're here. Please consider subscribing if you love what you see. We do all kinds of eclectic, fun things for your home. We also go on vacation together and just do life together. My name is Victoria. I am an interior designer for a living. I am an entrepreneur at heart and I own several very small businesses. I have Free Spirit Marketplace, Free Spirit Bundle, and Free Spirit Designs. So today you're gonna see a few things. A lot of the collection that I'm gonna show you is actually available right now at Free Spirit Bundle and Build Your Own Bundle. So I'll talk through that as we style the table together. Whether you're hosting this year or not, the tips that I'm gonna give you today, you can use anytime you wanna host or just make your table special for your family. So let's set the table. One thing I love using are linen napkins. It really makes everyone feel special at the table. Now, paper bunny napkins, whatever type of napkin you choose, I feel like we can make it more special. And I am going to simply take the napkin and some little flowers and tie it around. So simple, you guys. But I really feel like it's gonna make the guests feel super special. The guests are literally my family. I believe it is so important that we love on ourselves. And even if no one's coming over, who cares? Make the table beautiful for you. Like I said, if you're not hosting Easter, it's okay. Use these little tips another day. Fresh flowers, those are at your grocery store. This is just a little twine that I'm using and so simple and super sweet. So I'm gonna use these little daisies. I don't know if they're actually daisies for the girls and the eucalyptus for the guys. We have six people who are going to be around our table. My husband and myself, our sons and our daughters. There are six of us. I'm setting the table for eight, which will also include my parents. Cute. I like to pull all the extra leaves off the florals. I just feel like it's cleaner. And then we can fluff our napkin and we will be good to go. So the girls are done and I decided I didn't like the square. I thought this was a little more organic instead of having it squared off. You just fold your napkin in half and then you're gonna just kind of take the middle and do that. Really pretty simple. And like I said, the guys, they just felt like eucalyptus to me, but it's keeping it fresh. It's bringing in the outdoors into your table for spring. Easter is really early this year. In fact, if you see anything that you love today, that's available on Free Spirit Bundle, Build Your Own Bundle. Please know that I will do a one-time courtesy of expedited shipping. Today is Thursday, which means if you order today, I can expedite it and hopefully have it to you by Saturday. If you are a local friend and you need some of these things to spruce up your table, if you're hosting for Easter, please purchase and you'll just simply click the button that says local pickup. And that way I can have it on my porch same day for you. A fun tradition that we have at our home is that everybody gets a dyed Easter egg. Now these are faux because we haven't actually dyed Easter eggs yet. We'll be doing that this Saturday, but everybody gets their own egg and we do what's called egg wars. I grew up doing this. One person holds the egg, the other person holds and you go like that. And whoever cracks first, then you flip your egg and you do it again. I do feel like every year there's a different winner in our family. I honestly would have to go back and watch the video because I always record it 
of who won last year. I feel like it might have been Scotty. Anyway, that's a fun tradition. What other traditions do we have? We always do resurrection eggs, and that is where inside each egg, it goes through the story of Jesus' resurrection. It goes through when he was crucified and buried and risen, and that is why our family celebrates Easter. I feel like we have other traditions too. Like, oh, we hide our children's Easter baskets. So fun. Now, <laughs> they are all teenagers, you guys. 19, 18, 17, 16, soon, 15, 14. So they are older now, and it gets very challenging to try to find a spot that they won't know where it is, especially because year after year, like we've lived in this home for several years. So, you know, it worked the first year to hide the Easter basket in the drapery, but that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> so Scott, he's pretty good at it. He hides it and the children get frustrated and they can't find it. But that's another tradition that I grew up with. My parents always hid our Easter baskets and we always did egg wars. So I love that I've been able to do that with my children. And I love that Scott has also taken on those traditions with me, with his kids. It's awesome. I love being able to use my china and my china is a little bit different. It's very eclectic. I did not get a set of china. I do have a set, but it was my mother's. But I love that everyone's place setting is different. The reason why I decided to just buy eclectic china, like I totally found this at Goodwill. Uh, this was my grandmother's. I love that they tell a story. That's one of my favorite things, you guys, about the holidays when you take out your special things that you might not use all the time. This was from my aunt. Another one I found at Goodwill. I'm trying to find my mom's that she gifted me. This is my mom's set. So I have a full set of eight of these, I believe. So of course, mom and grandma will be around the table and my aunt and some of the others I just found in local, either a vintage shop or Goodwill. And the reason why I love that they're eclectic is because if one breaks, it's not a tragedy, right? We can fill the gap with another one from Goodwill. So we are not having any soup, so we're just going to do a small plate and a large plate. I'm in love with these hobnail glasses. These are actually available in Free Spirit Bundle, Build Your Own Bundle right now, as well as every single candlestick and the vases that I use today. So you can definitely check those out. They're totally items you could use year round, not just for Easter, but I just feel like it's always fun to have something new and fresh when you're trying to have a new beautiful table. So we have old and we have new. Flowers are always a gorgeous, gorgeous addition to your table, no matter what the season. I found these and these are both available in Free Spirit Bundle, Build Your Own Bundle. I love the hobnail. I love the simplicity and the fact that you can use them all year. So these are the base for the table today. I have one white one in the middle and then a clear one on each side, but I wanted to build one of the clear ones with you because I only did one before the video started. So I love Eclectic. For those friends that are new here, you will see with my brand, just in my home in general, that I love mixing styles. I believe there's something beautiful about every style from modern to vintage to maximalist to simple. My cats are gonna definitely eat these, but we're gonna hope we can get a few days out of them and be able to last through the weekend. I like to have what I call the thriller in the vase. This guy is so beautiful. I love the purple. I think mixing the colors, purples and pinks and orange and all of those feel very much like spring. These, gorgeous, gorgeous. I would encourage you to turn your vase as you build it because that is gonna allow you to really see what you have going on. Greenery is very important when you're building a beautiful piece because that is gonna be a really great filler. We have lots of greens in here. I definitely wanna bring these little daisy guys into this because that's gonna pull together our centerpiece with our napkins that will be placed all around the table. And I just kind of spread the love around the vase. else that's 
on BYOB that's actually for sale. Anything Easter is totally on sale, you guys. This is those. <laughs> this, that's not proper English. <laughs> anyway, this is the size bag you get. I think it's on sale for eight bucks. And I'm going to take some of this little grass, some Easter grass, and the final touch on the table, this is all for the centerpiece. We, but I'm just feeling like we need some fun eggs in a little collection of threes. I got this at World Market, you guys. You could also use moss. You know that I love, love moss. So one bag should give you what I'm doing right here. You could even put these at everyone's place setting. Let's say you didn't want to do the napkins with the florals. You could totally give them their own little nest on top of their plate as a fun little special touch. These beautiful handmade tea lights were made by a woman named Sarah, and she actually also owns a home decor subscription box. You guys, I'm all about inspiring and encouraging one another as women. We are all working our tails off, and Sarah is doing just that. I love hand artisan items. It's why you always get a hand artisan item in our elite subscription box at Free Spirit Bundle. I purchased these from Sarah a little while ago, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna use these on my Easter table. And this is the special little candlelight that everyone will get at their place setting. So thank you, Sarah, for these fabulous tea lights from down Evergreen Lane. And then the other little simple and fun thing, as you guys already know, we're going to have egg wars. So everyone has to have their own little egg holder at their table setting. But it's very simple, an egg, their name, and a little tea light. And Sarah told me that when this burns all the way to the bottom, if we sit around our table long enough at Easter, there's a Bible verse at the bottom. How cool is that? So I love that she sells some things a la carte, just like we do at Free Spirit Bundle in Build Your Own Bundle. We also have a la carte gifts. Anyway, I love supporting others. And so I am so excited to set the table with those. So I realize I don't have my chargers. So I choose to not use a tablecloth. Instead, I use chargers, and that's gonna kind of anchor each person's setting. Some people want to feel like they have their own, <laughs> you know, our chairs don't have arms on them. I can't think of it. Like people who just want their own zone at the table. So a charger, in my opinion, make sure that this is your collection of things. This is your glass. This is your plate. So let me grab those out of the cabinet. Okay. For those friends that are new here, Scott and I built this kitchen during COVID and my father built the cabinets and he had never done a horizontal door. I was like, I definitely want horizontal. I don't want door, 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 door. So he did what I wanted, but he didn't put the right hinges on them. So it literally will just close on my head. I see the chargers. <laughs> we have this one and this one. I love them all. Let's see. Okay. Ew. Thank you, children, who cleaned up the table at Christmas. I don't even know what that is, you guys. That's disgusting. We're gonna definitely wipe all of these down. I am feeling like this and this, not these. I love my wood table, so I never put a tablecloth on the table, but even if you are a friend that loves to use a beautiful tablecloth, I would still suggest as you start your centerpiece that you have something to anchor the actual centerpiece. So here I'm choosing to put a green table runner that's kind of grassy, definitely reflects the Easter season. Even if you put a tablecloth, I would still consider using some type of table runner or some type of tray that can really anchor the centerpiece. Collect all the candlesticks. I'm going to group them in small sets of three, two, three, and two throughout the table. I like to put them in varying heights to add interest, and I would also suggest using the same type of element. You'll notice on my table this year, I used all glass. Maybe you have all gold candlesticks or all wood candlesticks. By choosing to use the same element, it's really going to give you a cohesive feel. So even though our table is very eclectic, there's that cohesive vibe by using all the same type of texture. I even chose to use glass for the vases. Keep in mind when you're building your beautiful flower arrangements, you want to think more of a low profile so that way you can still see your loved ones across the table from you. I started with the bigger middle floral arrangement. That's the center or the anchor of the actual tablescape. I did the varying heights of candlesticks throughout. 
and separated the candlesticks from the groups by adding more florals. I always feel like you can't have enough florals to make a beautiful centerpiece. The finishing touches were when I simply put some bunnies and little Easter egg nests throughout the tablescape to really give it that final finishing touch to make it feel like the season. You could choose to sprinkle jelly beans, your favorite candies. People could truly eat off the centerpiece if you chose to do that. The most important part, in my opinion, is to just have fun. Keep playing around until you actually love it. Step back, maybe take some pictures so you can see what the balance looks like. And then the final touch is when you place either your placemats or chargers at each table setting so that your guests feel defined and they won't have any questions which spot is theirs. Adding a place card gives a final fun touch and really makes it personal for your guests. out today. I hope that you are inspired for your Easter table or anniversary table or special birthday or any holiday. Remember, candlelight, fresh flowers. Make your guests, your family, yourself feel special by adding those little touches like tea lights or even a little fresh bud of flowers or on the napkin, flowers, all the things that we did today. And I wanted to show you something else. If you are in need of a gorgeous set of salt and pepper shakers, love these, totally spring and summer. These are only 20 bucks right now in Build Your Own Bundle. And this was the egg holder. It's so beautiful. It's very heavy and substantial. You could use this year round. If you are a person that loves hard boiled eggs, this is a way you could distinguish that they're hard boiled in your fridge. Of course, I love it for the Easter table. Thank you guys again for being here. If you're new and you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button so that you can be reminded every Thursday when a new video posts. There are lots of new things coming to Free Spirit. Scott and I are going to be teaching you some house things very soon on the channel, so you definitely wanna follow along if you wanna learn how to hang something on the wall, if you wanna learn how to hang drapes or shelving or wallpaper. What else are we gonna be doing? Oh my goodness, you guys. We actually recently bought a house. I know, right? It's crazy. It is very old and needs a ton of work. It's a total gut job. So we are definitely gonna be renovating that house with you on the channel. So we're so excited that you're here. We love you so much. And truly, we cannot do this without you. So thank you, thank you for coming every week. Please tell me in the comments below if you are hosting Easter this year, or tell me if you have any fun Easter traditions like egg wars or dying Easter eggs or whatever it is, I would love to hear about it to get to know you better. Thank you again. I love you guys. Have a great week. 
Happy Easter, and we'll see you next Thursday.